Hi everyone, this is Noah from Elementor. Today I'm going to show you an amazing new feature, the box shadow, with which you can add a unique touch to your website. To begin, we're going to click on the Edit with Elementor button. On this page, we show how to add a box shadow to a section, a column, and a widget. Let's begin with this section. To find the box shadow, we just click on the section, on the Style tab, Border, and here you can see the box shadow. Here you click Yes, and now you can see in front of you all the box shadow options. Here we have color. Let's pick black with an opacity, of course. Blur is in order to soften the edges of the box shadow. Spread is in order to increase the size of the box shadow. Horizontal is in order to set horizontally the box shadow. And vertical is to set vertically the box shadow edges. Now please note that the box shadow is displayed only on the bottom border because it's set as full width. Now let's move on to the columns. Let's click on a column, Style tab, and under Background and Border, you could see Box Shadow. Click Yes. And now, once again, we have the same box shadow options. For this column, let's pick a gray with an opacity. And for the blur, we're going to set it at just about 30 with a spread of zero. Horizontally and vertically, we're gonna leave at zero as well so that it's right at the center of the column. Now, we're going to move on to another set of columns. Now, these columns are just an example of the incredibly creative things you can do with the box shadow. And for the color, I'm going to insert that same color and of course give it an opacity. All right. And now for the blur, I'm going to set it as zero. So there won't be any soft edges in this box shadow. For the spread, I'm going to set it as 50. Now, as you can see, the box shadows edges have increased their size to 50. For the horizontal option, I'm going to set it as minus 250. Please note that if you want to position it outside the scale, you can just type in the number. Now we're going to move on to the other column. In the box shadow color, we're going to choose an olive green. For the blur, of course, we're going to set it as zero, just like the other column. Spread, we're going to set it as 50. For the horizontal option, we're going to set it as an opposite of the other column. Let's set it at 240. And vertical, let's give it a minus 8. Now I'll just put this on preview mode. So you could see what an incredibly creative touch it's given to the page. Now we've gone over the columns and it's time to move on to the widgets. Here you can see a video widget inside this section. Let's click on the widget itself. And here, please note that the box shadow is placed in a different area than in the sections and columns. It's placed in the advanced tab. It's placed here under the advanced options because the box shadow isn't always set on the element itself, but on the whole widget. For example, for this title, the box shadow will be set for wherever the blue line is displayed on the border of the widget and not on the title itself. Let's go back to the video widget. 
Now for the color, let's go with black. The blur we're going to set as 50 and the spread horizontal and vertical we're going to keep as zero. As you can see on the page, that gave the video widget an amazing effect. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and tutorials, subscribe our YouTube channel or visit docs.elementor.com.